Hey guys, Fedor Bobo here with a warm suit guide. I'm making this because I received a number of questions where some animals were or how best to hunt them. If you have a specific one that you're looking for, I will make some map links and timestamp links in the description and in the pinned comment so you don't have to watch all of this. Starting out in the southwest part of the island, we're going to be hunting rabbits with our recipe of one raccoon, four boar, six deer, one rabbit, two cloth, two rope. You don't have to be hunting in these areas. Similar looking areas on your game will probably have these animals as well. For example, wooded areas, almost all of them have deer. Just like you're in a wooded area, bam, here's some deer. I like this area for the rabbits, however, and lizards, I guess, because they're really, it's really open, you know, the grass not being too high. I don't like turning off the grass, but you can turn it off if you want to better see them. But now you can see the rabbits, not too hard. And you can also get some booze and some of the shipping containers have other things in there. Now you can use the spear to hunt the rabbits, but because of the size of the rabbit, you kind of use your left hand finger as a pointer and you actually have to shoot down into the left a little bit. I don't really like that because the pointer for the hand on the left works really well for the deer. So I like to use that as my, my aim device, in which case I don't use spears against rabbits because I have to recalibrate my pointer. However, the bow, I think it's really good against the rabbits. So we're gonna take the 10 cloth, slap it together and make some rope. If you already have rope, then don't do this. Or especially if you have a little amount of cloth. <laughs> Anyways, one rope, one cloth, one stick, bam, you have a bow. One stick, five feathers, bam, you have some feathers. You can get feathers by killing birds. Not so hard when you have some bodies, they'll land on those bodies. If you see that they're landing on the ground, that's kind of a spawn point, you can kill them there. Also build some birdhouses and then you'll get some passively over time. Arrows one shot small creatures like lizards and rabbits and squirrels and birds. Make sure to take your arrow before you take your meat otherwise you can lose the bow. Not the bow. <laughs> lose the bow. You can lose the arrows. That will be really unfortunate. Now you don't need much in terms of rabbit skin for this recipe however if you're kind of hunting rabbits anyways I think you should get quite a bit more because there's some other recipes that take rabbit skins and you can hold up to 10 now when you feel like you're done go ahead and head up the west coast or move on to the next location that you're going to be using keep in mind these cannibal villages like this one we're passing right here they have rope inside them so go inside check it out get some free rope that's 10 cloth quite the deal keep on heading up you go to the sinkhole head right along the sinkhole and you'll find this fork in the road you can go right here or just go up the rock and around it and then right anyways. You would go up because you can get some water from a small waterfall. Also, there are usually some lizards and rabbits up there. Either way, you're going to head right and you're going to find this location here. Sinkhole is directly in front of us on the right, so we're not very far away. You hang out here, you're bound to find some deer. It's a really great place. Also, there's a load of sticks here, so if you're doing your spears, Never gonna run out of spears. You can use a bow and arrow against a deer. I don't think it's a very good idea though, unless you're practicing your aim, which that's not bad, because it's gonna take two or more shots to kill a deer. Occasionally you get lucky and you only need to do one. Occasionally you hit some bushes and you need to do more than two. So, not my favorite. Spear, however, is one shot, plus with the left hand, you just like point it at the deer. You're like, ah, you, you zap the deer. Run around, you need to get six deer at least, but there are other recipes that take deer skin, so you might want to go more. Keep in mind this entire time you're getting meat, so if you need to eat, you got a lot of food on you and you buy a lot of sticks. You, you're covered in terms of food for a while. However, it's going to get nighttime, so you can go into graphics and you change your color grading at the bottom right setting. This is M131. It's, uh, it's basically night vision. Now when we're hunting raccoons, which might take a while, you have to you get a little while into the night. You'll start hearing them run around, skittering. You see the shadow. You only need one raccoon. Now you can use a spear, especially if you got used to it with the uh, the deer. You have to you know aim down a little bit the smaller they are. But you can also use the bow. One arrow also kills a, a raccoon instantly there. It helps to have a your self position in a way where it's a little bit open. You don't want to be crowded because you have to have a clean shot. You get too close to the raccoons, you're going to start running away. So you kind of just want to like stand still and look around. And hopefully, if you can shoot them from the position that you see them, your life will be a lot easier. But yeah, I hover over there. Only one recipe takes a raccoon skin right now. Maybe later there'll be more. 
but you don't need to hunt very many raccoons. You can make it daytime. There's some tents on the left hand side uh, near that village that you were at or also just on the other side of the sinkhole. Now we're heading across north towards the mountain, not directly towards it, but just in that direction. You'll walk by some tortoise if you go slow enough. There'll also be a bunch of berry bushes and stuff like that you can collect. You can get the shield, which you can use for sledding. It is also a very, very, very strong, I guess called it a shield, but yeah, you can defend. Keep an eye open for the crocodiles though. They can hurt quite a bit and they kind of look like logs. You can kill them with two spear hits, weak spear hits, which is nice. You can get a bunch of meat from them, some lizard skins, which is weak armor. Keep on heading north though, and you're gonna get into this winter biome. Oh, well, just to add, uh, if you wear lizard skin, it can increase the aggression of the cannibals because they think you're preparing for war. Uh, this is a real thing that the devs mentioned. Um, I don't know if they took it out, but they have mentioned it themselves. So I would just suggest maybe not wearing it unless you're ready to fight. If you head into the winter biome, or snow biome, you'll find boar. However, if you don't have a warm suit, it's the whole point of this video, then you might be wanting to stay in this side, the peaceful, warm side, which I like to do. I head east because I find more boar that way. By the way, you're gonna find boar in this section of the map. I end up going all the way east, but you need to kill at least four boar, but there is a spear bag related to the boar skin, so I would get more if you uh, have got the time and the desire. And again, you, you have so many sticks nearby. It's, if you're hungry, you've got the food. Really, it's just water you have to worry about at this point. Once you're done getting all the boar, you can head back down south if you need some rope. You might be ready to build the whole thing right now, depending on how you came with. But I want to show some areas to get some nice rope, cloth, stuff like that. Again, like I said before, the villages, they usually have rope in there. That's 10 cloth worth. And then we have the cloth village, which respawns. It doesn't respawn so quickly now they changed it, but like you can save exit, come back and stuff like that. Anyways, we had to cross back towards the sinkhole down the lake side to the left a little bit. You'll find this cave. The cockpit, if you've been playing the game for a while, used to be right there in the center of the lake. It's a little bit of the left. You see the mountain or sinkholes directly to our left. I'm going to point the spear at it. There you go. Bam, sinkholes right over there. And head down here. This is the Katana Cave. I have a video on that, although <laughs> the cockpit's no longer there. I may have to replace that video. People will be like, what? Where did the cockpit go? No, sorry about that. Anyways, you head down here, you get a bunch of cloth, get some pictures, get a toy thing behind you. To the right, you'll have some cannibals. To the left is where we're going. Also, there's going to be a suitcase with an outfit. So, hey, also giving you an outfit. Go down. Man, you're gonna have a fire in here so you can safely cook, eat your meal, chill, stay, get warm, hang out, you don't have to worry too much. Get some food if you didn't want to cook any, but I would recommend cooking your food. I don't know what the calorie amount is on those and I, I wouldn't rely on it. I'd rely on your own food that you've been getting a whole bunch of because you've been killing so many animals. Stock up on your medicine, go up the hill. People may be familiar of this area with my treehouse base. So part of the reason why I like the deer area here so much and treehouse space is tucked into the trees over there a little bit. But look at this, like this, two rope, just 20 cloth. We definitely have enough to make our warm suit now. Throw in our boar skin, throw in our raccoon, all of our rabbit, basically all of our deer. It's a very consuming one. When you have this, it's gonna protect you against the cold. If it's raining, you might still get a bit cold. Just keep an eye on the frost on your screen. It's gonna take longer to take frost damage too, which is important if you're in hard survival. Basically, frost damage happens when you hold still for too long. If you're freezing, but you're moving, you won't take cold damage. But um, this will help defend you against it. Either way, turn around, keeping the lake on your left. You're gonna see this kind of nook in the trees here on our right. You head that direction. And go across this big old rock thing. You also find some aloe and some herbs on the ground sometimes. Anyways, once you get to the edge of the nook, as we are here, you actually see some cannibal village in the distance. Head that way. There's a load of cloth here. You may even want to build a little bit of a flag marker here to help remind you. You will come here when you die in single player because uh, this is the respawn cave area. So if you were, you were feeling brave, you could just kill yourself and come here too. Keep in mind if you've died recently and you die again, game is over. 
but if you last, I think it's like a day, a day and a half, then you come back here at this cave. So there's a time before you get a respawn in the respawn cave. One problem with this area though is there's a lot of cannibals here, which is cool. I like that. You gotta keep the cannibal village with cannibals, right? But maybe you don't wanna deal with them. Either way, if you uh, came over here, head down, make sure you get the map, get the compass, some booze in the corner, head down until you kind of get around this, this this curve in the wall. You want to turn off your light, start sneaking, and then whap. Uh, if you, if, you if, if they're standing up, but you can sneak behind them, so they're making the sound, they're kind of like moving a lot, then use the rock in your hand instead, and I'll one hit them. But if they're, if they're in sleep mode and you hit them in the back, they just fall over and they die. Sometimes you can get a one shot either way, but uh, the rock is really strong, even if they're kind of like this right here. He's kind of active, you know? So obviously we continued down the cave. We saw the two lantern lights and we just went to the right a little bit. We took care of them. You do whatever you want. If it's in normal mode, fire does pretty well. Uh, hard mode fire damage is significantly reduced though. Either way, you can turn around where those lanterns were and you'll see this little kind of like secret cranny and you're gonna go in there. And this is gonna lead down a really long rope. You get to the bottom, loads of cloth, quite a few rope, modern axe, which is an amazing weapon that cuts down trees faster. Medicine, it's great. Remember this spot, you can come back here later and stock up on supply, especially if your base is nearby. You're gonna head out by just kind of continuing down along the cave and going an immediate left. And follow the path. And you'll arrive at another village with what? More rope, more cloth, an outfit. Also, there's an old pot in the center. Cool trick with the old pot is you grab some dirty water. Always keep dirty water on hand. You can cook it on the fire. You can also make a stew with it, which has some benefits, which uh, I don't really think we need, but you know, hey, you can make a stew, it's kinda cool. Right now I'm making a spear bag because now we can hold five spears, five, five, five. You, you know, you were throwing the spear at the deer, one-shotting them. Now you're lord of the forest. Also the crocodiles, you needed two of them. You don't even have to go into your inventory, just throw two spears at them and pick both of them up. Spears are amazing, They're easily the best when it comes to hunting larger animals. Unless you're not good at the aim, but best large animal hunting either way you got it warm suit bam if you have any questions feel free to let them down below oh final trick if you have dirty water in your pot and it rains you can hold it out in your hand and it'll turn into clean water you can drink if you just hold it out empty while it's raining it turns into unusable clean water which is annoying but yeah whatever if you have questions feel free to ask them i'll try to help out otherwise i hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video